So I guess it's safe to say that Tyler Fitzgerald is out the bag. I'm pretty sure we all know by now what, what time it is. Um, same way we've been on Butler for the past three weeks. Um, most of us here, the sharp um, MLB DFS players that we have here, they've been on Tyler Fitzgerald. The Patreons, the channel members, been on Tyler Fitzgerald because I've been shoving them up, shoving him up their asses for the past week. But I don't think it's a secret anymore. You should be playing Tyler Fitzgerald until he cools down. I'm starting this video, and the San Francisco game is still going on, and he just hit another home run. So he's have he's got like seven home runs in five years, something like that. It just it's just unreal. The the hitting from the MLB this season is um spectacular. Marte, um kettle 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 Marte to be exact, has been on a run himself also. I got him shoved in some lineups. You gotta really be paying attention. Like if you're gonna be playing MLB, you gotta be really precise and be paying attention, or you gotta get real lucky. Because the days of just stacking a team and shoving your fingers up your ass, those days are gone. You know, when you get certain players hitting two, three home runs a game, fuck your stacks. You, you feel what I'm saying? Because you're not cashing shit. On top of that, to be honest with you, all these pitchers are getting hit. Every single, every single pitcher can get got. On any given night. We're going to start with DraftKings like we usually do. We got Amonaga up top, right? Going up against Kansas City. He could get got. He's the best, He's the top player on DraftKings and he could get got. Nobody's safe. MLB has become... Um, it got a lot harder, but it got a lot easier if you're paying attention. I, I think that's the best way to try to explain it. And when I speak... I'm speaking to players playing a few lineups, not max 150. Okay, if you're playing max 150, you're getting a little bit of everybody. I'm talking about those of you that play a few lineups in a night. You got to be real precise if you're trying to cash. We've been catching every single night. We're playing a few lineups a night. But that's because, you know, it's my job to analyze what's happening. You know what I'm saying? But it's still not easy. All right. Enough of the small talk. We got Amonaga up top going up against Kansas City. Bobby Witt um, has put the league on notice that he's a top five, top six, top seven player in the league. And that can't be ignored. Amonaga is still in play. But, you know, it's still risky knowing that Witt, Perez, Pascantino, um... They can get to him. He could get got. Plain and simple. I'd rather get to Seth Lugo against Chicago. Cause you know, you know how I feel about those uh, strikeout queens. Chicago. I'm not worried about them. Fire up Lugo. I'm. 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 I'm not even trying to be nice tonight. Fuck Chicago. Blanco going up against the Dodgers. I think he got smacked last time, right? I think he kind of fudged up my ticket. Got the nerve to be smiling. This fool. Seattle, he let Seattle light him up. He and Bozo, he should have on like a, a a red nose and some paint on his face. You idiot! Fire up the Dodgers. He should be firing up the Dodgers all the time anyway, especially the top four: Otani, Smith, Hernandez, Freeman. Especially those four. Um, if you want to be cute, you can fire up Lux. You can fire up Kiki Hernandez. If you're feeling cute, but we got an, we got enough players that are bona fide that admit that are underpriced um, that should be taking up those spots, such as Butler, Fitzgerald, you know, and so on and so on. Crawford against the Yankees. The Yankees have been a bit peskier. They got Austin Wells up in the four hole, which I um, which I like. Um. Torres showing a little bit of signs of life. 
Mm. I think the Yankees wake up, especially they're going up against Boston. I think the Yankees have a good night. This is Jake Irvin. This is Jake. Jake Irvin against St. Louis. St. Louis is pesky. Um, I don't think I'll get to Jake Irvin. I don't think I'll get to anybody from St. Louis, but I don't mind either or. I don't I don't have no I don't have no um I don't le- I don't have any lean anyway. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Fat against Pittsburgh. I don't have respect for Pittsburgh. I don't mind taking a shot on shot on fat. Especially if um Reynolds is out the lineup again. He's out for bereavement. Not sure what who who passed away, but Reynolds is out the lineup. I don't mind taking a shot against Pittsburgh. You still got Tellez, you still got Cruz, you still got um McCutcheon, but you know, Cruz is a Cruz and Tellez are a strikeout queen, so strikeout princesses, so I don't mind playing fat. Wu against the White Sox. Um take a shot against the White Sox. Go on and take a shot against the White Sox. Blake Snell against Colorado. Colorado really does nothing on the road. You could take a shot with Snell. But Colorado's still pesky. They're still a little bit dangerous. But if you're playing a few lineups, you gotta listen, you gotta take these shots, man. You just gotta, you know, balls to the walls. Just play some of these pitchers, cause they're gonna get hit anyway. You know, you just gotta pray. You know, get on your knees, pause and pray to God or pray to the heavens that they don't get lit up too much. Like our boy Drew Thorpe. Yo, Drew Thorpe. Anybody doesn't know who Drew Thorpe is? He's a pitcher for the White Sox. He started on Friday night. I kid you not. I just took my eyes away from from following these games for like two seconds. I just want to go do. So I just want, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I went to watch Scooby Doo. My little niece came came over, and I put on some Future Avengers for her. And then we put some Scooby Doo on, so we had Future Avengers on the on the desktop, and we had some Scooby Doo going on the TV, and we were just watching both having a good old time. And then I went, I went to check, I went to check my players. Come to find out, Drew Thorpe gave up eight runs in the first quarter, in the first quarter, in the first inning. I wasn't even mad. Whatever. And I definitely did have some Drew Thorpe. Um, what a time to be alive. Who else is here? Tyler Anderson against Oakland. I'm not messing with Oakland right now. I've been warning y'all about Oakland for the past month. Oakland has a stigma to it. Like, Oakland, not a good team. Shit team. Lots of strikeouts. They're one of the best. They've been one of the best hitting teams in the last month. Listen, it doesn't matter what, 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 it doesn't matter about a team's stigma. It matters about what they're doing. Look at Oakland. Offensively, they're one of the best teams in the league right now. Look at the Mets. The Mets might be the best offensive team in the league for the past six weeks, eight weeks. It sounds crazy to roll off of my tongue, but numbers are numbers. You see what I'm saying? Um, I can't play Tyler Anderson when Butler and Roker are Roker. We talk about Butler. We're not even talk, talking about Roker. Roker's another one going crazy. I got him shoved up my ass too. Pause. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm, we're at a point now where we're building lineups, especially if Oakland and San Francisco is playing. And I'm I'm starting off with Butler, Roker, Fitzgerald. Then I'm picking my pitcher. Then I'm filling in the rest of it. That's how I'm building all my lineups. That's that's where we are right now. Then you got to get in Lindor if the Mets are playing. Like, it's really crazy right now. It's really crazy. Um, I can't play Tyler Anderson because I'm going to have a lot of Oakland, as usual. Kyle Gibson against Washington. I don't respect Washington. You could take a shot on Gibson if you want to save some coin. Strowman, to be honest with you, he's a he's a he's a tough pitcher. He doesn't have like the greatest strikeout stuff, but he wouldn't kill you. But New York and Boston always play each other. Um, tough. I don't mind getting to Boston either. 
I, you could play New York. You could play Boston. I think they both get a lot of hits. Um, who's this? Michael Meyer? Max Meyer. I knew that. Max Meyer against Milwaukee. I don't really know enough about Max Meyer to say. Let me see what he's been doing. One run, one run, two runs. Seven strikeouts, three strikeouts, four strikeouts. 12 fantasy points, 19 fantasy points, and 25 fantasy points. Going up against Milwaukee. And you know what? Let me see. What what teams did he do that against? Atlanta, St. Louis, and the Angels. Makes sense. Two shitty, hit, two shitty hitting teams. Three shitty hitting teams. Um, Milwaukee hasn't been that. What's the word I'm looking for? They haven't been that fascinating lately either, and they're going to be missing Yelich. I'm I, I'm indifferent to both sides. Maybe if you're playing a lot of lineups, you want to take a shot on Max Meyer. Um, but like, there's so much. There's so many. Um. Other places that we can go on a nine-game slate. Like, who am I going to really play from Milwaukee? That's the question. Eric Fede against Seattle. You think Seattle goes goes crazy again? I don't. But I don't think I get to Eric Fede. The rest of these guys I won't be touching. Robleski, no thank you. Spence, you could take a shot on some Angels. They've been a little bit pesky lately. Savelle against Miami. Jazz Chisholm's in play. De La Cruz is in play. Burger's in play. Gonzalez, hell no. Fire up some. Um, Gonzalez is a what? Righty or lefty? Gonzalez is a lefty. Fire me up some. Gonzalez is a lefty. I think Marte is a switch hitter. Give me Marte. Give me Carroll. Give me... Wait, I'm lying. Hold on. Gonzalez is a lefty, so I want the righties. Give me Marte. Give me... Let's see. Instead of me guessing off the top of my head. Like I'm baseball reference or something. Give me, isn't he a lefty? The righty. Give me Christian Walker. Give me Marte. And give me Peterson. Yep, give me Peterson. What's wrong with me? Don't give me Peterson. Give me Christian Walker. Give me Marte. Give me Gurriel. Yeah, I think the heat got me dyslexic. All right, yeah. And who's the last pitcher? Feltner. Okay, self-explanatory. Feltner's what? Feltner's a righty. So you're going to give me Feltner's a righty. So you're going to give me... Solaire, Van lead off. You're gonna give me Fitzgerald. You're gonna give me Ramos. And you want Bailey? Bailey's a switch hitter. I want the top of the order. Everyone, I want everything in and around Fitzgerald. You feel me? That's basically what I want. I want Solaire. I want Chapman. I want Ramos. And I want Bailey. I don't think I want Lamont Wade. You feel me? Okay. Let's get a pitcher. This video is already way too long. I'm sorry. Let's get a pitcher. Let's wrap this up. Got these 20 minute videos for no reason. Okay. Uh. We like we said we did say we like Lugo. We're indifferent to most of these pitchers. Kyle Gitna, I'm not doing that. 
I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play with fire. Give me Lugo. Give me... Fitzgerald and Tuho. 4K, too cheap. Do I want to put him at second base? Um, fine. Whatever. Second base is shortstop. He can stay at second base. No problem. We're going to go Fitzgerald. We're going to go... <sighs> you know what? So let's go with Solaire, 4,300. And then, so we got two Giants. Um, You know, I'm not going to put Butler in the lineup. Just play Butler and play Rooker. Let me give y'all something else. Let me give y'all a little bit of variety. You feel me? Because I am a man of the people. Give me Jazz Chisholm. So I'm getting you bats under 5K. You see? Um, and give me Austin Wells batting in the catcher hole, the catcher hole, in the fall hole, 3,800. I like underpriced power bats. And that's what you got here. You got four, four batters that are underpriced for what they've been doing lately. You feel me? Um, you want to take out Soler for Ramos, have at it. But this is how I would start off this lineup. All right, but we're about to go to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. I appreciate you really taking time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. If you're struggling to cash, like I just said in the opening statements, this shit has got way harder. But if you know what you're doing, it got a lot easier. Um, if, you're, if you're newer to MLB, you don't really understand all the moving parts and you need help you want me to send you my finalized optimal lineups no problem check out the patreon link in the description check out the channel memberships right here on youtube and i do have super chats open today's saturday we got mlb all day most of us are going to be doing mma um we the, we usually do golf in the middle of the week um so listen if you're tired of building lineups, spending your money and losing, then come, you know, come join the party. That's all I got to say about that. Let's go to FanDuel. Let's get a quick lineup and let's get going. Um, I, I'm not in, I'm not in love with these pitchers. Um, and even the pitchers that I do like a little bit, they're in tough matchups. I like Seth Lugo. He's 10.5 K. I need him to throw a lot of strikeouts for 10.5 K. Um, Blake Snell is so risky. Blake Snell is so risky. Brian Wu. Are we going to enter? Let's enter the Wu. Going up against the White Sox. Anything against the White Sox should be an advantage. If you give me a uniform, some tobacco, and a, and a, and a fitted cap, I could get five strikeouts against the White Sox. All right, let's go grab Fitzgerald again. They got him at second base now. We're going Fitzgerald. Let's go Ramos. Let's go Ramos batting in the three hole. Um. We got thirty three fifty left. Um, let's get some let's get some heat in these lineups. Um, do we do? I'm thinking about Judge. That's that's why I'm that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Judge. Um. Blanco, do we go Otani? Do we do Otani? Let's do we do Roker? 
Um, how much is Otani? Otani forty seven. Otani forty seven. We're gonna play Otani. Why? Because nobody's gonna be thinking about him. With all these other guys going crazy, nobody's gonna be thinking about Otani. Let's play Otani, and then last last person in. Wait. Lawrence Butler's 34. Let's go Roker. Roker's been exceptional. Even though he's been overshadowed by Butler, Roker, Roker, Roker is. He's been exceptional. So we're going to go to Wu. We're going we're gonna to go with Fitzgerald, Ramos, Otani, Roker. I'm going to try to shove Butler in there. And, um... And they'll absolutely be value pieces to uh, incorporate into this lineup. Listen, I, I've kept y'all long enough. I do appreciate y'all watching. Hope you had a profitable Friday night. Don't forget to subscribe again. Don't forget to hit the bell. Thumbs up. Check out the Patreon link in the description. If you need help with lineups, um, check out the channel memberships right here on YouTube. Super chats are open and available. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.